Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of uh, one of this week's Nightfall, Strange Terrain. I'm doing it on Hunter, Night Stalker. I'm using Midnight Coup, Gentleman's Vagabond, uh, Gentleman Vagabond, and the Warcliffe. I've never used Gentleman Vagabond, and when I say I've never used it, I've never even fired it. So, it was a pleasant surprise to find out it was a very good sniper. I used it because it was Ark and it had Dragonfly, I thought it was really cool. Uh, that's the shotgun I got for completing the Reckoning. I'll speak more about the Reckoning uh, during the video. I've Obviously, I'm using Orpheus Rig. Uh, modifiers we're using is Heavyweight, Momentum and Oxinge. No high score run. And I'll explain that for anybody that doesn't know what's happened with the scorecard. I'll explain that as we're going. I have Rocket Launcher Scavenger to get more... Uh, rockets for for every brick I find. Uh, machine gun, uh, sorry, rocket launcher reserves don't work with a warcliff. You'll only ever get five five rounds. So we've got six mobility, seven uh, resilience, two recovery because we've got momentum on. So that will give us our recovery back. The reason we're not doing a high score run is because they've made a, a slight change to the to the five of swords the way that you apply your power handicap to get the 5.7 modifier now you have to put a 210 power handicap on crazy i'm not even sure you i thought that if you were 50 levels below the night vault it made all the enemies immune how wrong was that i must be wrong why would they have that so it'll be a it'll Need to level up a little bit more because I, I did put some modifiers on and it just never gave us nearly enough to get the high score, I don't think. But I will give it a go. I haven't tried it. I will give it a go. So with the Joker's Well coming out, they've made a lot of changes to weapons, which only last week I was saying I was getting bored of running machine gun for everything. And it is a couple of, a couple of you guys said, you know, it is super easy to use. It's it's a reliable weapon, but too much, and it got too clutch, and Bungie recognised that. So they reduced its damage against bosses. I think it still does the same against adds, but not against bosses. And with the any any machine gun reserve perk, you get less rounds. So they, they've done what they felt they had to do to give other weapons a chance. Warcliff, on the other hand, they increased the boss damage by 115%. It's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. And against normal run of the mill adds, it can scale to 160% extra damage. They also gave... Uh, I was going to do a, a separate thing, just, you know breaking down all the changes they've made and what weapons have benefited. If you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comment section and I will 100% get that out. Because it's something I'm interested in doing, but I'm not interested in putting any content out that you guys don't want to see or won't find any use for. So, I have actually, there is another video coming up. Uh, I beat the Reckoning a few times and... I've got a few strategies, a few different things, so that video will be up later on, as I've already said. So, the Warcliff, I used to use it before they buffed it, uh, before they nerfed it, but uh has a tendency to blow up the orbs, so I stopped using it, especially for this Nightfall, and then when I stopped using it for this Nightfall, I just stopped using it, so it's nice that it's been brought back, and as I was starting to say, a couple, an, another one, just just one more that I'll mention that's had a buff, and it's not really a buff, I would say. All like it's, it is kind of. Uh, the Acrius, the Legend of Acrius, has had its fire rate increased. That's good news because that was one of the things I didn't like. If you if you hadn't done Prestige Night for Prestige Raid and you didn't have the, the Catalyst where you had the six in the mag, it could be a little kind of. Uh, Awkward to use, I think, because you only had two in the mag. And I never ever done a prestige night raid because it never interested me. There was not enough rewards for a prestige raid. Obviously, that changed with the catalysts. But So, 
but I've actually been using Acris a hell of a lot. So I'm, I might do a run with it. That's kind of strange. That's been happening on this part. Of, as, I, as I've said, I've beat this Nightfall about 10 times today. Just rerunning it and rerunning it and rerunning it. Trying to find different ways and, you know. And it, that nearly every time, two things happen at that part. I almost always drop heavy ammo. And my uh, Midnight Coup, for some reason, develops Firefly. But it's only on those two ads. That's insane. So this is the first kind of real strategy. And as you can see, there, is, there isn't a lot of strategy involved. I tether, catch, capture all four knights in the tether. And then <clears throat> Warcliff across them all, which takes them all out. <clears throat> I don't dodge reload. I just reload normally. Take out the, the wizard. Now, the wizard didn't actually... Uh, give me any uh super energy which is not not what what you would expect anyway from from a, a, a an elite enemy it's just kind of strange and it, every time i've done it it hasn't so i take it it probably wouldn't for you guys but as you can see we've got my super back the reason i tethered all those you can go you can leave them and just go as i'm obviously doing it for the pinnacle weapon which we'll speak more about when i get it uh which is i'll I'm really going to make a push to get it this week. I want that scout rifle so that I can do a bit of a review on it and use it and see how it works out in the wild. Reviews only work if you do a full run with them, I think. You know, I, I don't think it's much of a review if you get people just going, yeah, this gun does this. And, you know, uh, it hits for 210. Who cares what it hits for? That's what I always think. Uh, how fast does it kill? Let's see it out in the open. So... I, I'm, I I digress. I apologise. I've just got a lot to say. This DLC caught me by surprise. This this uh, seasonal pass thing caught me by surprise. Joke as well because I've had so much fun. So what I do is, as you as you can see, I had the variant of the 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 shriekers. So take out the shrieker with the sniper. And then tether right past the Shrieker and capture both knights. Take them out with the Warcliffe. Remember, waist high, aim high. And then come up here. Now I was trying to snipe the two knights, but the the as you can see by those bombs, the uh, acolytes they, they had a bead on me. So go up there, take the Shrieker out, and then just move. You can tether from there. As you can see, because I can, I'm trying. I'm trying to take out uh, as many of the knights with the sniper as possible. I did want to show off the Warcliffe's kind of damage against a boss, but I had already seen somebody had said to me one of the my clan. One, I think it was the the leader of the clan I'm in that I've just joined on PlayStation. Uh, I'll speak more about that as well. I've got I've got some announcements to make on stuff like that. Uh, I think I think it was him that told me that uh, Ezo had done a video showing off the Warcliffe damage, and I was like, "Oh, cool!" I don't normally watch stuff until I've done a run because I don't like to copy, and I don't like it to be seen. You know, oh, you've done the exact same as someone else because you guys know it can happen. But it was just him showing, you know, from inside the. I think from the thumbnail, it looks like it's a warlock. It from inside Well of Radiance, one shot in the, the wizard, so uh, one shot in Knocker. So I take it as Well of Radiance and Powered Melee, and then one hit with the. And I kind of thought, that's all well and good, but it's getting to the boss efficiently with the Warcliff coil that's the difficult part. So when you get to this part, it's the first real part where you could have some real issues. If you've got the Shrieker, you snipe the shrieker on the left, the first shrieker that's up, and then you tether right past it, and you'll tether the two knights that come out of that uh, spawn opening. Run down, Warcliff. You can throw both the orbs from there, and then if you've got your dodge reload, you can go invisible. Go back up to where you came, where you spawned into the area, snipe the, the shrieker on the other side, and if you want, you can tether right right to where that first knight drops 
and by the, if you dodge reload get your invisible visibility back and go down there the next two knights will be tethered there so you can just war cliff them and once they're war cliffed you can do a lap and drag drag the ogre because the ogre is the difficult part of that for me the ogre it's about it's about manipulating the ogre's position so that he can never comfortably shoot you and then tether the ogre one war cliff from from close range one war cliff should kill him now when i say close range what i'm meaning is the war cliff has a decent amount of range it's not massive but it, it's decent but the so for taking the knights the further you are away from them the less potency the rockets have when they bounce off the floor when, when you know when they hit the floor the less likely you are to actually shoot the orbs so but the closer you are to the ogre the more damage you know because if you try and if you try and do that ogre thing from a little bit of range you might not kill him so get about as close as i did You've got them tethered. Be ready to fire. Always be ready to fire. Don't run in and then try and reload because eventually, it only takes a second or two, the ogre will kill you. So as you can see, we've took all the ads down and we were ready for the knight. So he will do that. He will put his wall up. It's no problem because we were ready for him. Dodge reload to get the re to get the reload, not, not to get... Uh, not to get invisibility we weren't really bothered about that run over get the orb and then throw it and it just leaves you a couple of ads which we are going to take the ads out uh, a couple of ads and the night and as you can see i'm dropping plenty of heavy i say this all the time about switching weapons it's probably now with only having five war cliff i mean even the whisper's been reduced the whisper only starts with nine rounds now Although you can have sniper ammo reserves and that will increase it. But it used to drop with 20. So there has been a few changes. So preserving your heavy ammo. I said it all the time before. Now it's probably more important than it ever was. So switch weapons when you can. So as you can see another knight's come out. And I, I, <laughs> my disgust of another knight coming out. I threw that off that structure. Do not throw an orb off a structure. So break the break the last crystal. And as you can see, that's massive damage. That is massive damage. The war cliff is definitely the king of DPS now. And that's the run, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. I hope you found something out about it. Uh, if you would like to see that breakdown of all the changes that have been made to the weapons and you know uh, all that type of stuff, let me know. Let me know in the comments and I will definitely get one out there and keep an eye out for the reckoning, uh, my full guide on it. Thanks a lot for watching again, guys. I appreciate it, as you all must know by now, and I'll see you in the next video.